Okay, well after I had uh, such good success using the Nautilus gears, and like I say, the only thing I didn't really like about them is the speed is constantly changing, which means of the three feet that are on the floor, they're never all three moving at the same speed. But I wanted to get the same kind of stability out of my two-speed walking one, so I decided the first thing I would try to do is I would reprint the gears, and I would change the uh, where the, the takeoff for driving the linkage, the leg linkage is, instead of being a, a 12 millimeter throw, which is 24 millimeters total, I would take it down to about 10 to 10 and a half millimeters, which I did. I just printed these uh, just now and put them on there. And did one test walk and it seemed very promising. It seemed a lot more stable. So now, my favorite version, is back to the two-speed because at least with the two-speed walking the feet will always be moving, the ones that are on the tabletop will always be moving at the same rate so all three are powering the thing forward and it uh, having changed that back to where the legs aren't extending so far and lifting quite as high it uh, added a whole lot of stability so it's a very smooth walker right now very impressed with the two-speed. So right now the two-speed is my favorite. Um, in case you haven't watched the video on the Nautilus, there it is. It's a good walker when it doesn't fall off the table. But it does kind of have that swagger to it. Um, I didn't stop it with the foot down because there's no way to hold on to the dang thing. All right, but this one, that's even smoother. It's got, it doesn't have the swagger, it's not trying to fall over. Um, there it is on three feet. I don't know. I'm back to liking the two-speed design better than the Nautilus design at this point for uh, how stable it is as it walks.